Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about the modifications I've done to my freestanding drill press, my porter cable drill press. Any drill press that you get typically has, it comes stock with a small table, it has the grooves in here if you want to use any type of a clamp or something you can bolt that down or, or put in some type of a retention to this table that comes with your drill press. However, I created my own table for this and as you can see on the back side I use a couple of toggle clamps. We'll see this thing in place here in just a moment. but. Uh, I just want to show you some of the thoughts that I had going into this and why I designed it the way that I did. It works very well for what I do with it. It gives lots of options for holding parts. Um, so let's take a look at it. Okay, let's take a quick second and talk about dimensions of the actual table, the outside dimensions. So we're looking at 17 and a half deep, 25 and a half wide. It's two layers of MDF, one and a half inches thick with a border around it. I did a pine border. I put in some Rockler T-Track in this, and then I also have a center spot here for a small sacrificial piece to prevent tear out on the back side of anything that you're drilling holes in. Three and a half by three and a half. So it's easy to get one by four stock, cut off three and a half inch chunks, and put it in here. Now if you notice I did it off center, and I'm going to show you why here in a second. Notice that the center is right here. This means I can rotate this and I can get that much more use. I can get eight uses out of this same block by simply picking it up and flipping it around in this same spot. So that's why I designed it the way I did. It is purposely off-center to give you a little bit more usage out of that sacrificial piece. Again, to keep the tear out to a minimum or eliminate it on the back side of anything you're drilling through. So let's take a look at some other options, some other accessories that I've created for this. Here's a little bit of a closer shot of the crosshairs of the laser in the upper left quadrant of my sacrificial block. And as you can see, we can just turn it. I noticed in the other cut that we really didn't have good uh, visibility on that because of the, uh, the work light that's on the drill press. So I just want to get a little bit of clarification on that and show you just a little bit more of just how that lines up in that upper left quadrant. And you can just rotate it around and get a lot of use out of this sacrificial block. For this drill press table, I made two separate fences. As you can see here, I have a low profile one. Now I just use regular quarter 20 hardware and some knobs that I got at Rockler, some threaded knobs to be able to tighten that down in the T-track once you get it lined up and get it in here. It takes a little bit of doing sometimes. One thing I want to point out to you, if you're going to make a fence for this, and this comes into play especially important on the next uh, accessory I'll show you, the other fence that I made for this. These are both made out of oak, and I'll show you the next one here in a second. But be mindful of the clearance for your height adjustment as you're drilling, just to be careful. I, it was something that uh, I was able to watch uh, as I built these and uh, try to keep that in mind, but it does affect the other fence. I'll show you that here in a second. So this is a low profile one. To get it trued up, just use a tape and a square and you'll be in good shape. Tighten it down. There you go. Now here's the other accessory fence that I created for this. If you notice, I made a couple of horizontal pieces in the back here to, house, to uh, contain the hardware for this and the vertical piece here. But again, be careful as you hit. Watch that. And if you notice, one of the distinct features of this particular table is that the T-Track extends past the tabletop here. If you notice that, that's for this. So I can go just a little bit beyond if I want to have squared up for a larger piece. So I just tried to squeeze out as much use of the area of this as I possibly could. So as you notice, the little hardware can, you know, pieces back here to contain my uh, hardware to tighten this down it does have a gap in here to facilitate the column of the drill press itself. So I make sure that I clear that and I can move that back pretty far if I need to. So just something to keep in mind as well as you're uh, building accessories for this. And of course, you can always use your rocker hold down clamps to hold a piece in here. You can use it on the other side as well to hold down whatever piece of material that you need to drill holes into. Very convenient. So again, this is my drill press table. It was a lot of fun to make this project. Just put a little bit of thought into it. And of course, look to the internet, look for, uh, look at Pinterest, try to find different ideas that you may be able to incorporate into your drill press table. Uh, toggle clamps on the bottom to hold it into place. You, un you loosen those up, it comes off very easily and you back to the stock form that you got the drill press in. So have fun, stay safe, and thank you for watching.